Hello everybody, and welcome back to Brandon Battlefield 1, uh, I should say news dump video with me, extra specials today. And I know I may sound a little bit stuffed up, um, I'm, I want to say that I'm just about getting over my sickness I've had the last couple days, which, um, I do want to apologize for, um, how late all the videos the last couple days have been going up lately. Um, it's been tough with just being physically exhausted and just being in bed for the last, you know, two to three days that, you know, it's, I've, I've had to really push myself to get these videos out for you guys. So, they were up late. But, um, again, I have uh, been under the weather the last few days, so apologies for this, and hopefully this uh, won't be a thing anymore for a little while. But um, I'm here today, guys, with um, some uh, juicy intel for you guys for BF1. So um, while I was sleeping today, napping a little bit, getting some of my strength back, um, uh, B Battlefield's uh, Twitter account dropped a 10-second uh, uh, teaser for um, tomorrow's full trailer launching ahead of the uh, Gamescom Squads event on Tuesday. So without further ado, guys, we're going to get into this and break this down for you guys and watch this in slow motion. It's going to go really fast, so I'm going to try and pause it while I can. So here, let's do this. Okay, so... Our first shot here, we have um, these uh, horses, obviously. Um... Looks like we're in the first person view of a car. These guys are on horseback and they're uh, running through this cannon area. And we have these planes that are dipping down through the cannon, looking absolutely awesome. We have a shot of our uh, bomber dropping some major lead on, on uh, some more um, horses. Flamethrower guy absolutely lighting up. Oh, this doesn't look like it's in a desert. This looks like it's in some kind of um, grass area. And Flamethrower guy looks boss. Um, beautiful. Uh, I think it's a sun sunset shot of... Uh, um, an uh, Arabian soldier just uh, absolutely going ham with the knife. So nice confirm right there. Uh, here we have a shot of our light machine. I do this is the same light machine we saw in the gameplay trailer the other day. And uh, this is a really awesome, cool uh, Arabic village. And then that's it, guys. It's that simple. That's all we're getting for today. But um, I do have more intel for you guys. And um, so uh, we do have a little bit more information on um, a new game mode that just got dropped the other day. I um, mean, not dropped, but, you know, you know, revealed. It's called... Um, uh, operations in BF1. And uh, so you guys are familiar with in a typical round of Battlefield, you know, a game is completely um, finished after one match. You know, you move on to a different map. And, uh, you know, it's either the same game mode or a different map, depending on, the, you know, your style of play and server. Um, however, the way you win or lose, then you move on to the next round. But in Operations, which is the new ga game mode in Battlefield 1, uh, the outcome of your current round will carry over to the next map. And it basically gives you an opportunity to fight a sequence of multiple uh, interconnected battles to kind of, you know, make it a little more interesting. So, um, obviously, uh, operations will offer uh, more journeys across uh, real battles of World War One, and they wanted to uh, offer large and epic uh, focuses on team play and frontline combat. Um, this metal layer game mode stretches across interesting locations that look very different and add new levels of scale and battles to BF1. Um, your team can win one map, Proceed the next map and actually see the map you previously fought on over the horizon. Wow, that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. So, if you proceed on the map, the map you previously fought on will be over the horizon, which is absolutely insane. Um, as an attacker, you'll hear a commander's whistle as the order of the charge of enemy trench is given. You'll run side by side with your teammates towards the defensive positions in foot, tanks, airplanes, boats, and on horseback. Awesome. And uh, as a defender, you'll dig down as you hear the alarm go off, signaling an incoming attack. Dude, this sounds crazy. Can you imagine you're just in the game with everybody, multiple game, and all of a sudden a massive just siren goes off saying, you know, an enemy attack incoming. Like, I'm, this just gives me chills thinking about that. But uh, attackers must capture and hold all defensive points in order to capture the sector that's being fought over. This kind of sounds like a turning point from uh, Star Wars Battlefront where we have a certain amount of objectives, and if that, ca if that uh, area gets captured, they move on. If not, the team wins. Um, but once this is done, the defenders will fall back to the next sector in a new group. Yeah, so this, this basically sounds like a turning point to me, which is not a big deal. They just a little bit of twist on it. Um, attackers must take territory and push the front line forward. All defenders are trying to hold the line, obviously. Um, operation doesn't stop here. They will fall back and regroup on a different map, but attackers will continue to push. Sectors may fall, but players reinforced by gigantic behemoths can still turn a tie. So I think when you get to the last map, um, I don't know if it's on every map, but when you get to like the last map for the game mode, 
um, a behemoth will spawn. And for you guys who don't know who the behemoth is, um, the behemoth is ultimately the uh, last go-to thing in the game for when the players um, are pretty much in a losing fight and they need all the firepower they can get. You know, spawn behemoth and, you know, just rain hell down the battlefield to try and get the game back in their favor. But uh, they go on to say they want to create a battlefield experience that was uh, unlike anything other. And uh, I cannot tell you guys how excited I am to get myself in operations and... Uh, and, you know, play some uh, fresh games here. But this did not stop here, guys. We have information on a possible confirmation date for the BF1 beta. So I'm going to say Gamescom is starting on Tuesday um, with the squad's uh, reveal. And the brand new trailer for this will drop tomorrow, actually, the day before that. So I'll expect uh, tomorrow's video, guys, to be the breakdown trailer for that. And then Tuesday, um, just, you know, some uh, recap of the squad's event. Um, but, uh... It says the beta will be available um, as early as August 21st, which apparently I think is the last day that Gamescom will be on. Um, I, this is not confirma confirmation, but uh, DICE has said that the BF1 beta will be available after Gamescom. So are they going to release it the day Gamescom ends or the day after? We will not know. But um, it does say expect the game as early as August 21st, which is really close. Guys, I could, I could be playing BF1 in the next week and a half. Which is makes me so happy right now. But uh, that's gonna be all for today's video, guys. If you're on my channel, please subscribe, hit the like button. If you did enjoy the video, please say so in the comments. Very really appreciated. And um, stay tuned tomorrow for my uh, full breakdown trailer of the of the of the uh, teaser we just saw tomorrow. That full trailer will be released. Uh, all things uh, trains, uh, automobiles, and or horses. Get your horses, get your um, swords, and get ready to go, guys. And then uh, don't forget to stay tuned to the uh, squad's uh, part two live stream event from Gamescom on Tuesday. You're not going to want to miss it, guys. It's going to be awesome. But uh, again, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow with that Blade Run trailer, and uh, have a great rest of your Sunday. Later.